Hi everyone! Today I'm gonna share with you the reasons why I chose to do a PhD in French. Currently I'm in Montreal, Canada, which is a French-speaking region of Canada, part of the province of Quebec, and I am enrolled in a francophone institution, which is Université du Québec à Montréal. Um, yeah, and basically when I started, I had to take all my classes in French. I did not know French that well. I did take classes back in Puerto Rico for a year to make sure that I would at least understand some of it. But between you and me, French in Quebec is not as French in France and this is not a secret, but let's leave it there. Um, so yeah, my first year I had to take all my classes in French because I had to prove that I actually had what it took to be in a French institution. Looking back to the moment when I decided I wanted to be in Montreal in a French institution, um, I was in the IIE conference and I met who was going to be my uh, PhD advisor and long story there, uh, it changed so now I'm with another advisor. but. Yeah, I met her and I saw the city, got to see how it felt like, got to see how the people were and I totally immediately decided then and there that I wanted to be at UCAM. I actually went to see the university as well so I knew I wanted to be at UCAM. So going even farther back, the moment when I decided I wanted a PhD, I wanted to be part of an institution to be able to give classes and share my knowledge of whatever I had learned. And in that moment I had my eyes set up on the UPRM in the Department of Industrial Engineering. And I wanted to contribute something different to the mix of what it's already there with the professors. Meaning I wanted to have different experiences, different advisors, different concepts, different mentalities that I could share with my students or my future students and be able to give them a taste of something different. So that's when I decided I did not want to pursue a PhD in the US. So I started looking to other foreign countries that would not be super expensive and I could actually get into it and that would have topics that resonated with what I had in mind. So in going back to the conference, I wanted to work with humanitarian logistics, which is actually my topic right now. Let me know in the comments if you want me to tell you more about what exactly is humanitarian logistics. I would gladly do a video about that. So. Yeah, I wanted to do humanitarian logistics. I told my advisor at that time, he asked a professor who knew a professor who knew a professor who presented me to my one of my advisors. And yeah, I fell in love with the university, with the topic and everything, and I decided to go for it. When I learned that Montreal was French, it, it, it touched my heart in a way because my grandma uh, spoke English and French and she was actually an English and French teacher. So we had, before she died, we had agreed that she was going to teach me French, but we never got to do it. So in a way, it was a way that I could reconnect with that idea of learning French from my grandma, but it's not from my grandma. In this case, it's been a full immersion and I have had to learn French by having to have to understand my teachers, by having to be able to communicate, to live a daily life in Montreal. And right now where I live is the French part of Montreal, so I've been exposed to, like, when I say the French part, there are parts of Montreal where people are more open to the idea of talking to you in English because there are tourists, etc. But in the part where I live is where the most um, strong supporters of French are living right now. So yeah, it, it makes you have to speak French and learn to speak French and, and at least comprehend and try to understand what they're 
saying. Also, I have to say that by knowing Spanish and by Spanish being my mother tongue, it actually aids in the transition of guessing words and putting everything into context. Last but not least, I also wanted to know how, because when you think in a language, at least for me, when I think in Spanish, I think totally different than when I think in English. And so I wanted to see what difference does it make to think in French, to be exposed to this new culture, this new way of thinking. In French, it's way complicated learning language when you compare it to English. And in English, everything is short and compact. And in French, everything is long and not everything that's there, it's useful at first sight. And those are little things that they might not look as much, but they do make a difference in the way that people think, in the way that people act, in the way that people solve problems. And that was my main intention. I wanted to learn to think different, to have a different perspective from someone from which I had not already had influences of. Also, I want to mention that by me being here in Montreal, I have been exposed to a lot of world-known mathematicians and operations research researchers, which is my field, operations research, and this is an opportunity that I wouldn't have gotten anywhere else, and I am proud of my decision to come here to Montreal to study in French and I would suggest it if you're up to it but keep in mind that you have to work double or triple <laughs> hard than anyone studying in their mother tongue would actually have to work for and it's a PhD so yeah that intensifies the difficulty but still it's a great experience and if I would have to go for it again I probably would it has made me grow as a person. It has exposed me to very different mentalities. I have gained lots of friends that I wouldn't have made otherwise. I wanted to ask you if you're thinking of doing a PhD, a master's, a bachelor's, etc. and a level of education in another language that is not your mother tongue, please share with me which institution are you going to, what program and what language are you going to speak in that program. Thank you so much for watching. Leave a comment and give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Missed the previous video? Click on that clip right there. If you want to get more videos, click on that subscribe button. Bye!